Greetings and salutations. Welcome back, toy lovers, toy haters, and everyone else who may be watching to another episode of Shock and Not Toy Reviews. Two idiots, one camera, and a review. I am Wilson. I'm the Berg. And we have another toy, different toy. What toy are we reviewing, Mr. Berg? We're reviewing Hasbro's Marvel Legends Spider-Man Build-A-Figure Absorbing Man Wave. Hobgoblin, or not Hobgoblin, Jesus. Jack-o-lantern, jeez, oh. dumbass. You could tell by the box, but the problem is, is we don't read boxes, that's why he didn't the, know. The box We're actually busy. doesn't say Jack-o-lantern on the front, it says like, Avenging. Yeah, Fuck. yeah, something like that. Uh, creatures of, not creatures of the night, villains of the night, whatever. Jack-o-lantern, this is the toy, because we play with toys. We don't read boxes, what a waste of f***ing time that is. So, here he is, this is the toy. Man, I was excited about this guy. He was one of my uh, out of this wave. Such a Wilson character. Yeah, exactly. He was out of the wave. He uh, was probably the one I was most looking forward to, I think. Definitely. Him and uh, Venom and uh, Speed Demon, probably. Yeah. Spider-Gwen. Oh, and Spider-Gwen, obviously. Everybody loves Spider-Gwen. But... Yes. Um... So were you particularly looking forward to the crappy version of Jack Leonard as opposed to the classic one like crappy updated I didn't know there was a classic one I've only ever seen this guy okay so I was looking forward to this one I guess the crappy one okay yeah I just remember this crying he 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 blah, 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 guy flying around on his broomstick um and I was a little let a little let down uh to be to be honest, at least with my version, my this is this is the Bergs. Um, he got, I think, a better quality one than I did, quite honestly. Uh, but as far as sculpt-wise and everything, it's the same. And I love, 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 love his head and the way the fire and everything uh, that's, looks. That's great. Yeah, that's coming great. out, coming out of his eyes, in the back. It all works. It reminds me just. Uh, the way they did Ghost Rider, the Ghost Rider toy, which I loved, um, looks just as good. This broom looks awesome uh, and is great. He's got these little pegs so you can make it look like he's riding it. He can actually sit on the broom. So if you want to, like, I don't know, if you were to work at a comic shop and wanted to hang them from the ceiling, you could do that and have him actually riding the broom. And he's got the little pumpkin bomb similar to the Hobgoblin and stuff like that. Um, but everything's molded in, looks real good. I like, he's got the little pumpkin bombs here on his belt. Everything looks good. Paint on Berg's looks really nice from what I can tell. I'll let him look closer. Visually, they nailed the character down. He's supposed to be skinny, kind of just like, uh, you know. Like, just, like a, like a jack-o'-lantern. Like a, ja like a jack-o'-lantern, like. Well, jack skeleton. Yeah, exactly. Like a jack-o'-lantern scarecrow kind yeah. of thing, you know. And, uh, yeah, they, they got it just, he looks like he popped off the comic page, which is both good and bad for the toy. Um, so, but what do you think? Anything, any any I, thoughts? I really dig the sculpt. Uh, I love his face. Yeah. I love the, the whole head, the pumpkin. Uh, I like the broom for what it is. Yeah, I'm very happy with the look of him. Some other areas he starts to kind of fall apart a little bit. That about it? Okay. That's <laughs> Well, then we'll just move right along to the articulation. So, uh, as you may or may not know, uh, I believe that this is the exact same body that the San Diego Comic-Con 2013, 2014 ghost figure was from the uh, Thunderbolts box set. Uh, so, he has... <clears throat> a head, sh shoulders, but he has damn they're super ratchety, super ratchety shoulders that are really crazy loud. You know, he's got the biceps, he's got double jointed elbows, he's got uh, a forearm swivel, nothing in the hands. He's got fantastic torso. I mean, that's yeah. that's a lot of range. He's got a waist. Uh, he's got ball jointed <clears throat> hips. He's got a thigh swivel. He's got double jointed knees. 
nothing on the boots which he could really use and he's got the new uh, the, the now standard peg and foot crazy rocker ankle so uh pretty decent could he use some two more yeah he totally could uh wilson's can't stand at all mine can barely stand uh he really really could have done with some boot articulation thank you i'm glad you okay uh, it would have made a little more help it was it was okay on ghost because ghost usually is floating so he would be in floating poses but this guy has some problems standing this uh, guy because of his head all right yeah he's, that, his he's head is so big he's top heavy he needs that boot articulation to be able to get to where he's he can just get into a stance that can help it be where he's wider where it's not so because his legs are so are sculpted so funky that he can't get into a a good stance where he can keep his head where the weight is distributed evenly yeah. you know what i'm saying like like for right here this would be perfect if this down here could turn you know so it just it doesn't work that well and yeah mine is I think just a little looser than yours, so I have a lot more problems than you do. I know here on mine, these joints are loose. Well, um, it's not the end of the world. Though. No, it's not it doesn't bother me, but it's still loose. And I, I don't know. I'm just surprised that he doesn't have wrists articulation. Well, this guy was one of the money savers, so it's a money saver body. That's why. Well, what do you mean by money savers? Like, from from the past, he was a money saver he, one he, from he, before, he, and they're he, using the sculpt. They're reusing the sculpt, and they cut out two points of articulation that most other guys have to save on money because there was a lot of new sculpting going on. Like this was a, I believe this was a new body at the time, hmm. and since they had sculpted all this other stuff, they left out two points of articulation. Or four, I guess. Two arms, two legs. It's not the end of the world. There he goes. Oh, shock and awe, everybody. No, he didn't hit the tail. Oh, it doesn't count. Uh, the one thing, silly bird thing that kind of bothers me, I mean, it's not, I don't even know why I'm mentioning it, but he, with his accessories, he comes with his scythe and his broom. And we'll go over these more in a little second. And he comes with a pumpkin bob that's, you know, clear plastic. Really nice. But he only has pouches for four. And he comes with a fifth. So where was he storing this? <laughs> like, oh, God. I would have loved if they had one empty one. That would have just made, that would have. That been is a, such a bird thing. That it, wouldn't that have been amazing, though? You would have lost your if you did. Now, are you saying that because you wanted to store it on there, or just because it's a detail where it's like, oh, he took it out of there and lit it I'm on I'm just fire. saying that is, a, that is a, a thing, an attention to detail that just would have went, wow, I can't believe they went out of their way. I'm not, compl it's not a complaint, but. <laughs> okay. No, it's I like, know. It's like, when know. The, it's like when they made a bullet for a G.I. Joe guy, and they gave you the magazine, and the bullet could actually fit in there. Like, <laughs> right. Amazing. It's just a little thing here and there. Not the not at all. I bought the guy and I knew ahead how uh unpleasant his articulation scheme may be. But since we're talking accessories, here's another kind of a fail. Uh cause he has the ghost hands, which work amazing for ghost, because ghost has he's always floating and ghosty. He has these same awesome spleens. Yeah. Todd McFarlane you spawn awesome, but that means you, to hold his pumpkin, you have to stick the fire between his fingers, and he can hold it. Not bad. Uh, this one even kind of looks like it was sculpted, or the flames was sculpted in mind to make sure he held it. But to hold his scythe or sickle or whatever you want to call it, he's got this stupid handle. Yeah. It just looks awful. Uh, and so you just got to... You got to jam all four of his fingers through it. And, and it has to be all four. And he has impactor disease, 
where he's got an open hand and he's holding it. Uh, he can hold it. If you shake it super hard enough, it'll eventually fall loose, but... And I'll just say this, mine does not hold it as well as yours does. Wow. Just won't, like, I actually have a hard time getting all four of his fingers through the handle. Wow, they're made of flexible plastic, so... I'm just saying, I they must, I'm just saying, I have a hard time doing it. I have an easier time with the broom and this hand to, getting it to hold. But then still getting it to stay in when I'm trying to pose him with, with the broom, it yeah, just doesn't work. The broom has the same stupid handle yeah. that looks... It, I don't think it's comic accurate. I don't know because I don't remember this one, but I'm pretty sure that's not how it goes. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, you can just squish his fingers and eventually get him to hold it, kind of, sort of. But again, because he doesn't have any additional wrist articulation... It takes a while to get him in a pose that makes it look good, but he can do a, a pretty decent Wicked Witch pose. Yeah, it's a, again, yeah, it would be nice if he could hold it out farther. I give up. See, I just get frustrated and just give up. I just get frustrated and give up! <laughs> I don't give a f whether they can see. That's why we suck. Ooh. See, I just, I can't, I can't deal with it. Every, deal with it. I can, apologize, viewers. I do give he, a f if you see. He, he can't deal with it, but as you all saw, I had him in a totally normal, decent pose before Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> so, accessories, yeah, I mean, personally, they, I think they're awesome. Functionality-wise, they suck, kind of. Yeah. Um, so there's that. Um. I think it was more of a case of they want this sculpt fits that character close enough that we'll just reuse it. Yeah. Rather than re sculpting some new stuff. Um, I found this wave on the whole, some guys are missing some things that, like, oh, Venom comes with two heads and 18 hands, but Spider Gwen only has one pair of hands. Like, yeah. Wouldn't that have been. So. Some size comparisons. Size comparisons. Here's Wolverine. So, they look pretty good together. Um, I don't think so. Why, why not? Is Wolverine supposed to be that short? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Wolverine. I guess I'm just so used to Hugh Jackman being yeah, six Hugh, feet Hugh, tall. <laughs> everyone, everyone loves Hugh Jackman. I love Hugh Jackman. Wolverine's like 5'2". <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, I always only, thought that. The only guy shorter than Wolverine is Puck. Yeah, I always thought Wolverine was short, and then Hugh Jackman started playing him, and now I always picture yeah. Wolverine as, like, seven yeah. feet tall. So, yeah, no, Wolverine is short. Uh, so there he is next to Wolverine. There he is with a wave mate, Todd McFarlane Venom. Eddie Brock, big boy. Oh, uh, they look really good together. Yeah. Um. Very nice. Here he is next to the best Transformer Ironhide there is out there. <laughs> you can't even see him. He's so he's so big. Yeah, he he looks he's he's looks pretty short next to the second best Ironhide you can get. Uh, no, the best. Go on. You got something else? Yeah. Um, Cause he's here. And <laughs> We totally don't film these back to back. Uh, <laughs> here he is next to uh, Sasquatch Walter Lankowski off of Flight. Uh, significantly dwarfed. Looks really, really nice together. Uh, scale well. Who do you got? I have Combiner Wars Skylinks, because why not? Yep. So? <laughs> That's your size comparison. Done. Done with that. Mm. All right, your final thoughts, sir. Go on. Uh, I'm going to give him uh, three hammers. Okay. Uh, for who he is, it's a very good representation. Could he be better? Yeah. Could he be worse? Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, for my needs, I just wanted him to look great. I'm not, not a big care. I bought him almost more for the leg than I did for him, but I'm glad to have him. Even. Uh -huh. I love this head sculpt. Yeah, it's amazing. Sick. Yeah, I'm gonna give him three. Okay, I'm I I go on two and a half, um, just because I was 
very excited and I think I was a little crushed, a little let down. And because, unfortunately, I think mine is worse than yours, joint-wise and just... And again, it could totally be Wilson user error going on. I don't know. I'm totally going home <laughs> after this and checking mine out, like, see if I'm doing something wrong. But I don't think so, because I spent... The night I got them, I spent a long time messing with them, man. And, yeah, there's just too much that, like, going on here that I wish that I think that he should have that just seems too funky he's that like bothers a secondary me. character third dairy yeah and he's 16th dairy character I don't give a shit. he's one that I he's one that I wanted and that I was looking forward to just because he's an afterthought to somebody else doesn't mean they shouldn't put the same amount of effort into him have you never bought a Marvel Legends wave before? I have yeah it's like that every wave Really? So Spider Gwen was an afterthought? Because she was a fing let down too. His stuff his stuff again is cool, but he can't hold it. So he was Mine can. Okay, fine. Yours can. <laughs> Yours can get a three, mine can get a fing two and a half. Will that make you feel better? He's good. He's just middle of the road average, so uh he's not the best of the wave, but he's he's not the worst either. Um so that's... Hey, look what I can do with Wilson Camp. Dun, 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 dun. You're pushing it, dude. You are pushing it Sasquatch style. <clears throat> so that's been it for this episode of Shock and Awe. Leave a comment. Let us know what you think. If you got this guy, do you like him? Can you get him to sit on his broom? Can you get him to stand? Whatever. Um... If you want, you can follow me on Twitter at Scabs and li read all my musings of anything and everything that comes to mind. I also put up pictures of toys every now and then. Uh, and speaking of pictures of toys, you can check out our Facebook page, Shock and Toy Reviews. And where can they follow you, Bert? Uh, Shock and yeah! <laughs> See, that wouldn't have happened if he was a better toy. At Raggy Fuss Measure. All right. <laughs> Say bye, Perk. How many of your awesome toys have fallen over? My awesome ones? Yeah. None. <laughs>